I'm Tyler and I'm an application engineer here at Productive Robotics and today we'll be going over the if do tile. Now in your process the robot may need to make a basic decision if it needs to do something. So you'll use an if do tile. Now there's two parts to this. There's the if which is the condition that needs to be met. It's going to be the input to the robot to tell it to do something. Now to go deeper let's look at our tablet. First we'll go learn, learn a job and we'll just pull up an if do tile from down below to take a look at it. As you can see, the first thing on the right side is a comment box. On this, I usually put a little comment just to know what this if do tile is doing. So maybe a good example would be if maybe the parts are um, out. There we go, if parts. Now, this can be based on a couple different conditions. Uh, probably the most common one would be maybe an input from an external sensor. So here we can have any of our inputs from our GEI set to on. So maybe it's a uh, eye sensor on a conveyor belt saying there's no more parts to conveyor. We're now empty. The other options that you may also use, such as pick empty. So if it is picking from maybe a stack or grid, it can pick from this until that stack or grid is completely out and the robot's worked its way through all those positions. That will give you the condition of a pick empty. Going down from there, sort of the opposite of pick empty is place full. Let's say the robot's picking from that conveyor and it's placing into a box. If the box is now full, now we have a condition of the box being full and the robot will do whatever inside this bracket. Down from there, we have object gripped. This one's pretty useful. Uh, if the robot is holding a part, it will do what's ever in the bracket. I usually use this to confirm that the part is still in the gripper and never got knocked out or anything like that um, in the process flow of uh, whatever the robot is doing. Next, we have register. If you want to go deeper into registers, I suggest watching one of the later videos we'll be making based uh, on registers. Uh, but for now, you can simply say maybe register whatever value you, any one of the 32 registers available is set to equal to or be greater than uh, less than whatever your condition needs to be set to a certain value or set to another register down from there sometimes ob7 will need to ask some sort of external equipment about an, a value or status of something which we can then use as an output and then ask that over these communication protocols. Based on that input, it's then going to do whatever is in the bracket. Now, for now, we'll keep a simple one of just a simple GEI input, but inside our do bracket, that second portion of this, we'll then add the actions we want the robot to do. So we'll keep simple with just maybe a move and maybe a, a basic pick or something like that. Let's we'll create a fake waypoint for now. But in review, if this condition is met, then the robot will do whatever tiles we put in here. Now you can add any of the tiles that you've already learned about on the left side here, uh, whatever sequence you need. It's just going to be all based on the condition being met in this if tile. So in review, the robot needs to make a basic decision if it's going to do something and if that condition is met, so one of these conditions is met, it's going to do whatever is inside this bracket, whatever it may be. And you can see with those tiles inside the bracket here. And so if you can now make basic decisions with OB7, uh, it should be another useful tool, tool for you to use when teaching your jobs. Thank you.